Welcome to the Intuitive Websites Internet Marketing Podcast, bringing you the country's top podcast on the subject of internet marketing. I'm your host, Glenn Thayer, and today we have with us on the program the co-founder and CEO of Intuitive Websites, Thomas Young. How are you doing, Tom? Doing good. Today we're talking about CEOs and their role in the company's website. Tell yes. us a little about that. Well, it's an interesting thing that happens when you get a CEO involved in the web. Uh, and, and what I want to talk about today is is basically two ends of the spectrum. One is that the CEO is has too much interest in the website and is, has too much of their fingers in, into what's going on. Uh, or the second is there's not enough interest and you can't get them moving forward on, on web development projects. It's important to understand what the CEO's role is in the organization. Now, the web provides a unique challenge to CEOs, and I've seen this in my consulting work. Uh, the CEO is drawn to the website because, obviously, it's their doorway to the world, and they know that a lot of people you know, are judging their company and basing their opinion on their company from the website. There's also a lack of expertise in web strategy out there, and so CEOs become frustrated because they end up with technical people or design people, and they're thinking, well, we need more of a strategic view on the website. And yeah, I understand, you know, technology is important and design is important, but what's our strategy here? So then the CEO will get over involved and, and start to set that strategy. And the problem happens because the CEO is too close to it. Finally, the CEO may not understand the actual technology of the web. There's so many CEOs out there that don't use email, that don't use the web or the internet as a resource in, in how they manage or run their business. Well, in addition to the CEO, are we talking about key managers at high levels as well? Absolutely. We're talking about anyone that has budget control over the whole process of website development. Uh, this is an individual that can either stall the process, keep it from moving forward, or become so involved in it that they maybe take it in the wrong direction because of their own personal interests. In fact, one of the things to think about when you think about managers or CEOs is that if they don't really understand the technology of the web and how the web works, then they may not think that the web is a viable marketing tool. So the challenge then for, the, for these people is to get them interested. And how do you do that? Well, education is going to be key to that. Um, return on investment, how you use your statistics programs. And one of the things I like to do for the CEO that, that is not involved enough, for the manager is not involved enough in the website, is to, to, sh to share with them how many people are on the website, say, in a given week, day, or month. And then imagine those people all in one room evaluating the business. And most CEOs are visual people. So if you say, hey, you know, last month we had 8,000 people come into our website and look at our company. I think we may, may want to update this website so that when they see that, it's a more professional representation of our company. So the number of unique visitors is a great way to start getting a, a key-level manager excited about the web. So how, how, what, are, what are some useful ways for the Internet marketing staff to deal with the CEO and the upper-level managers when it comes to the website itself? Well, that's a really good question, and, and I think the key thing here, and, and you're going to see this, this common theme through a lot of our podcasts, is that if you want to understand the market that you're working with, you have to you know, walk a mile in their shoes. You have to get inside their head. You have to see the world the way they see it. So let's think about what, what the CEO needs to get from this whole process. Um, whether, they're, whether they're on the fence or whether they're over-involved, there's a few key things you can do to help the CEO. The first thing is to realize that there's probably a gap in their ability to understand the web or in their whole education around uh, the web and the internet in general. So either you're going to have to have the abilities to do this and present that to them, or you're going to have to go out and get yourself trained on, on the proper use of the internet. So when you talk to the CEO, you're coming at it from an educational standpoint. You're training them. The second thing is that the CEO if they're successful, if they're a key level manager and they're successful, they've done a lot of planning in their career. And so the internet cannot be a fly by the seat of your pants. There needs to be planning and there needs to be processes in place. And, and these processes need to be presented to the CEO so that they can see that everything's integrated with how the rest of the company works. Uh, another key area is web statistics. And what you don't want to do is overwhelm the CEO with with web log data and cryptic information. It needs to be in, in a very simple format and easy under, to understand for them. So something like showing them exactly how 
their return on the investment on the website. Here's how many visitors we had. Here's how many leads we got. And here's how many sales we closed. And here's the dollars that were generated. That would be excellent. In fact, um, you know, if you, if you just heard what Glenn said and you didn't write that down, you may want to rewind, rewind the uh, podcast here and write that down. That, that would be a key thing because CEOs are running a business. And to run this business, it needs to be profitable. So most of what they do then is going to be based on return on investment. And the web, because of the kind of web statistics that you can get, is probably the strongest avenue out there in all your business processes for determining a great ROI. Because the stats will tell you all the activity that happens on a website, and it's all measurable. And if it's set up properly, you'll see exactly uh, what your return in, on investment is uh, on the website. Those kinds of things are very important to the CEO. Finally, you have to remember that, and this is true in any, any kind of relationship, is that if it's the CEO's idea or the key manager's idea, if they take ownership for that idea, you're much more likely to get the okay to move forward on, on your website or your website ideas. So you have to find a way to integrate education, planning, web statistics, and ROI into the message you're communicating to your CEO, and then you'll watch because they will actually give you the green light to move forward. In the previous podcast, you had mentioned that we want to have one person responsible for internet marketing and have that one lead, if you will. Tell us how to bring together an ideal web marketing team. Well, once again, this is a great challenge on the web, is how do you bring these different disciplines together and have them work toward a common vision or common goal? Remember, we're talking about marketing people. We're talking about technology people, you know, scientists, analytical types. And then we're talking about creative artist types. So you have three very distinct groups. The key thing here is that you have to get them to buy into the common vision of the organization. And this is where the CEO comes in again, or the leader of the organization. If, they could, if the three of these, these disciplines can have the same philosophy that they're there to make this site successful, and they have the marketing group leading these efforts and the CEO driving the vision, then it can be a wonderful thing. What is important to realize is probably the motivators behind all three of these disciplines. Uh, the, the motivator behind the marketing department is going to be to build sales, to increase market share, and to grow the business. The motivation behind the technology department is going to be really centered around the idea that they're doing the right thing, that they're supporting the company, that, that they know their business, they know technology, and that they're providing the best technology solution. So, you know, it's going to be important really to reward your technology department, to give them pats on the back and let them know that, yes, we're moving in the right direction. Yes, your ideas are valuable. And, and yes, we think that this is the right technology as far as a solution for our problems. Now, the design department, once again, their needs are similar to technology, but they're going to be looking at the artistic creative side. They also are going to need pats on the back, and they're also going to need to feel like they're contributing toward this, this vision and so forth. It's just so important that everyone understands their role and that everyone moves toward the common mission or vision. Uh, the CEO is going to define that. Finally, project management brings all this together. Now, and we've worked on a lot, a lot of websites, and project management can lead to a great result or it can just stall the whole process. Our input and, and, and my input is that you let your marketing department manage the pro uh, process, run project management, and drive the internet marketing efforts. Now, do you have suggestions on how that marketing department interacts and interfaces with the CEO? That's, that's great. And let me kind of, that's a, it's a good question because I kind of want to summarize um, what you want to do as far as an action plan to, to move this in, into process. If you're meeting with your CEO, or your key manager, or whoever has budget control over the website, whether they're over-involved or not involved enough, begin by developing a strategic internet plan. CEOs and managers are going to respond to that initiative and the idea that you've got all your ducks in a row before you come to them with wanting to spend company money and resources. Secondly, take some time to educate the CEO on what internet marketing is all about. In a, in a perfect world, they'll sit down and listen to our podcast before they even talk to you. <laughs> so they have an idea of what this, what this whole internet world is about. And, and then finally, and I really can't stress this enough, prepare a stats package for your CEO or manager. Now, don't overwhelm them with hard data and cold facts but put something together that they can relate to. 
There's a lot of great tools out there. And if you go to our resource page, uh, you can you can find several different resources for pulling together an excellent stats package that summarizes information at the CEO level. The key things you want to look for in the stats package are unique visitors, pages viewed, which are the pages looked at on the website, the entry and exit pages of the visitor that basically tells you the path of the visitor and what they did on your website. Take a look at how long they stay on the site, how long they stay on different pages. Look at the keywords that they use in search engines to find your website. Look at other referrers or other websites that are bringing traffic into your site. And then finally, and this is going to be critical for the CEO, look at conversion data. So first of all, you need to have conversion clearly defined, but look at what happens from the path coming in through the homepage or whatever page to an actual conversion or sale. And then tie all this together, all of these stats together in a summary page that looks at ROI return on investment. So basically the time and money spent on the website should have a clear return, which is based on your conversions. You heard it folks. Your action plans for this podcast are to develop a strategic internet marketing plan, educate your CEO about the value of internet marketing and prepare a statistics package for the CEO. Tom, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thanks for having me. I hope this podcast was educational in working with your CEO or key manager. This has been the Intuitive Websites Internet Marketing Podcast. For more information and to see all the available podcasts and much more, visit intuitivewebsites.com.